The origins of the Fairfax County Health Department can be traced back to April 1917, when the county launched a campaign for better health in the very same week that the United States would enter World War I. Shortly after the war's end, the staff consisted of a health officer, a sanitation officer, a nurse, and a part-time clerk. In the early years, the health department was primarily concerned with the spread of infectious diseases like diphtheria, smallpox, tuberculosis, and typhoid fever. With better sanitation, education, and immunization practices, many of these threats began to wane. Fairfax County participated in the trials of the Salk vaccine for polio, and they provided vaccine to children at their schools. At that time, I attended Lincolnia Elementary School, and I received the vaccine there. While director at Fairfax, I came across a picture of polio vaccinations being given to a long line of young students at the school. I was one of the kids in that line. As Fairfax County began to rapidly grow and develop, so too did the health department and its services. Only five years after opening the Joseph Willard Health Center in Fairfax in 1954, it was necessary to open three branch offices in Mount Vernon, Springfield, and Falls Church in order to provide health services to a county population that now numbered nearly 200,000. With more facilities and staff, the department was able to offer services like maternal and child health clinics, home health care, speech and hearing, dental and school health services. And much of that work was done by public health nurses. When I started here in the 1960s, we were all basically generous, providing a wide range of nursing services in the community and in the clinics. We were assigned a caseload geographically, and we spent part of the day making home visits. Back then, people recognized us by our uniform. Our uniforms were uh, navy blue suits, and we wore white blouses. We had navy blue hats. And in the spring and summer, we wore white and blue seersucker pinstripe suits. It wasn't until later that nurses were hired to just work in the clinic or in home visiting or in school health services. During the same time that medical services were expanding, advances were also being made in the field of environmental health. Well, I joined the health department in 1976 as a sanitarian for the city of Falls Church and primarily I was responsible for inspecting restaurants, handling rodent complaints. Uh, after six years, I moved over to the uh, on-site sewage and well section or program. Uh, for me, it's been interesting to see the evolution as more of the county's rural areas have become urbanized. And by that, uh, a lot of innovation in on-site sewage disposal system design and construction originated in Fairfax County. For most of its history, the health department operated under a cooperative agreement with the Commonwealth of Virginia, by which the county hired state employees to carry out its public health services and financial support was shared between the state and county government. That changed in 1994, when the Virginia General Assembly granted Fairfax County the authority to operate its health department. Fairfax is now one of two locally administered health departments in the Commonwealth. Well, the county made a wise decision uh, to take a year to plan and implement this change in legislative authority because it affected more than 150 state employees who would become county employees. As a result, the county invested more than a half million dollars to ensure a smooth transition and the Fairfax County Health Department became locally administered on July 1st, 1995. While the emphasis on the prevention and control of infectious diseases hasn't changed, Public health in the 21st century has dedicated more of its resources to promoting healthy behaviors. But on September 11, 2001, the health department's role expanded again, from prevention and promotion to preparedness. You know, since the terrorism events of 2001, the health department has undergone significant transformation and continues to evolve. Our core functions, for example, have expanded, and we are now considered a first responder agency with significant responsibility for a wide range of emergencies. Secondly, 
although we continue to provide traditional public health services in the clinical setting, our focus is increasingly shifting towards population-based services, and that is because the health needs of our increasingly diverse community are complex and don't lend themselves to the solutions we offer within the four walls of our clinic. As a result, we are engaging our community in unprecedented ways and in an effort to find creative solutions. We are also building capacity within the community that is in turn strengthening our local public health system. In 2016, the Health Department demonstrated its commitment to continuous quality improvement by achieving national accreditation through the Public Health Accreditation Board. Through 100 years of continuous service, the Fairfax County Health Department has distinguished itself as a national leader and a model public health department. Although its programs and services have evolved, its mission hasn't changed, to protect, promote, and improve the quality for all who live, work, and play in Fairfax County. Congratulations to the Fairfax County Health Department and all the dedicated public health professionals who have served the needs of Fairfax County since 1917.